A scripture reflection for the third Sunday of Lent, reading from John's Gospel. If we remember just one thing from this Sunday's Gospel, remember this. We are God's temple. Just as Jesus cleared the temple of all corrupting influences, he wants to cleanse us. Just as he was zealous for his Father's house, he is zealous for each of us, for we are all temples of his Holy Spirit. But let's put this story in perspective. Remember how encouraging and supportive Jesus is throughout the Gospels. Remember how much he loves us. Remember also that he intercedes for us day after day. Jesus is zealous for us in his passionate love, and there are times when his passion is directed against the sin in us. A point to reflect on. We may have been taught that all anger is sinful, but in itself anger is just a feeling, and as such is neither good nor bad morally. It is true that anger is a dangerous thing and can result in us saying or doing things we later regret, but anger is also a good thing. It can spur us to put right something that is blatantly wrong. There are times when we ought to be angry. An unjust situation should make us angry. Anger can also be an expression of love. We spoil this beautiful temple of our lives when we allow sin to overtake us. Whenever sin rules us, our temple gets a little bit more darkened. Of course, God's anger is directed against our behavior, not against our hearts but it is a passionate anger nonetheless. Another point to reflect on. John's Gospel has Jesus say, stop turning my father's house into a market. And he meant it. In the same scene in other Gospels, Matthew, Mark and Luke have Jesus quoting the line from the Hebrew Scriptures, you have made my house a den of thieves. Significantly, in this passage from John's Gospel, Jesus was not objecting to shabby financial dealings. He was challenging what the temple was essentially about and upsetting a tradition that went back virtually forever. When confronted, he effectively said, My own crucified and risen body will put you in closer touch with God more than any temple ever could. Mysterious words for us to reflect on. And here's another reflection. During Lent, we are invited to fast, pray, and almsgiving. We don't perform these works to earn God's pleasure. Rather, our Lenten practices help us to see and respond to those too hungry to fast, too scattered to pray, and too poor to give alms. So we need to ask ourselves, do my Lenten observances make me more sensitive to those in need? Who are they, and how shall I respond to them? Amen.